I came to Bruce Springsteen's music quite late. Uh, I grew up enjoying heavy metal music, parking lots, 7-Eleven parking lot music in the suburb that I grew up in, and then sort of transitioned straight to punk and was um, was kind of off-put by the promotional blitz surrounding the Born in the USA record. Um, you know, I hadn't spent any time with any of the lyrics, and and you know, only later came to realize that the the lyrics of Springsteen had a lot more in common with the lyrics of my other favorite artist, Joe Strummer, than some of the other stuff I was listening to. But it wasn't until I saw, I think it was a an HBO special, which was the Bruce playing on the Amnesty International tour from Buenos Aires, uh, and I saw the 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 bill for it. I think it was Peter Gabriel and Sting, and a, a, Tracy, a few uh, Tracy Chapman and uh, Yusu Endor. Right, and uh, I was a fan, a big fan of some of the other artists on that bill, and I thought, man, what's Bruce do? What's Bruce Springsteen doing? Headline this thing? He's going to get chewed up by those guys. And I watched it, and it was, I mean, it was really one of the most, you know, s stunning performances that he put on. You know, I cheered along, I I leapt around my living room, I you know, I shed a tear or two, and the next day I ran out and bought the cassette for Darkness on the Edge of Town. And uh, wow. since then, I have been a committed Springsteen fan. Got it. Nice, Pete. It's funny, my story is similar in that I was about 10 years old in 1985, and I was into Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, growing up in Jersey, kind of a metalhead, and I was I was also turned off by, like, just how, he was so popular, that, and he was, he was so close to home that I was just, like, just not interested for some reason. And then years later, um, not till I was uh, maybe a junior in college, a friend of mine was turning me on to some music and he said check out this on new york city serenade um from this springsteen record and uh he suggested that i turn the lights off in my room and smoke a little grass and lay down on the floor and just listen to it that way and i was like all right i'll try that for a goof and uh i did that and i was blown away i think i could have got into a lot of music that way but, <laughs> but uh I, the lyrics you were right the, the, the lyrics were amazing <laughs> and, the, and the melody got me going and that's when i discovered that earlier bruce his his lyrics really got me um and then the melodies and then from there it was it was it was over i was a big big fan 